I'm your host, Randall White. You're listening to the Eat, Drink, Explore radio network. This is the final segment of our two-hour show that airs live on this station each and every week. We're glad you found us, and we're wrapping up our compass hour. The word is life, and we are taking you to a rural life. In fact, Monterey County's Rural Life Museum and Agriculture Museum as Mm -hmm. well. Jessica Potts is the program director there and joins us live on the phone right now. Hi, Jessica. Hello. Nice to have you with us. I have driven 101 through King City. I I don't even want to count how many times because I I grew up in the Bay Area. I went to Cal Poly in San Luis Obispo. So during that period of time, many trips back and forth, back and forth, back Mm -hmm. and forth. And then uh, my later career in life has me doing the same thing. And so uh, I drive right past it. I look down there at the Salinas River uh, corridor, Mm -hmm. had no idea, A, that there was a county park there, uh, San Lorenzo Park, right? Yes. And then that there was this complex of buildings that make up the uh, museum. Yes. Uh, Do you have a lot of people that are surprised that it's there? We really do. It is truly the hidden jewel of Monterey County, I believe. Uh, you know, and you have some fun events coming up, too, which is one of, another reason why I wanted to have you on the program. Uh, th- let's talk, let's uh, talk about that first. What is the, uh, what event do you have coming up this month? This Friday, we have our ghost stories and local lore. We've got a little kids area that's down in a kind of a woody area that we're going to turn into a haunted wood. And we're going to have a big bonfire and have a couple uh, storytellers that are going to tell some ghost stories that are featured from this area. So uh, uh, famous or uh, people from the Monterey County area who didn't want to leave after they after. (laughs) After they were dearly departed, they didn't depart. Exactly. (laughs) They like the place. It's nice. (laughs) I like that. And a bonfire. And it just has that fantastic setting there as well next to uh, the river. Yes. Mm Mm-hmm. So uh, is it it fee-based? Well, it's going to be $5 a person, but it's free for all of our members. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. Now, I was just kind of looking through your website because, like Randall, I have passed through there many times, and I never realized that you guys were there. You're a former Monterey County resident. Yes, I lived up there, and when I started working down here for a long time, we kept our house in uh, north, and we would go back and forth. So many trips back and forth. Uh, You know, there's a Spreckles house there. I find that interesting, the Spreckles um, town. Yeah, Spreckles. There's a town of Spreckles right there outside of Salinas. But so was uh, the Spreckles, were they actually growing sugar beets near King City? No, it it, it was um, located south of Salinas. It was built in 1898, and it was moved to San Lorenzo Park in 1980. Oh, got it. Okay. Interesting. It's a cute little place. It's adorable, yeah. And so on the property there, you have the Spreckles house. And for people that aren't familiar with the history of it, uh, Spreckles is a type of sugar, like C&H, you know, Mm -hmm. like a brand uh, that originated there in Monterey County. It was um, one of the largest factories in the world at one point. Whoa, okay. Yes, and they they built that little town of Spreckles, which is a cute little historic town. And you know what? They actually started developing Coronado Island, where uh, the Del Coronado is. That family. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. Mm-hmm. Patty's a wealth of information this morning. <laughs> That's why I have her as a co-host. I love that. And then you also have a train depot. We have the the actual King City train depot that was located down on First Street, and it was moved to San Lorenzo Park in 1989. And so it is the actual building that has been restored. Really? Okay. And so, uh, and then what do you have in addition to those two? We also have a beautiful one-room schoolhouse, a little glorious schoolhouse that was built in 1887 that we actually do a lot of school tours in. Um, we also have a ir- history of irrigation building. We have a functioning blacksmith shop, a harvester shed, a cook wagon. So we have quite a bit. There's, I think, is there still an operational one-room schoolhouse in a, right outside Salinas on your way to uh, Watsonville? I think you pass a. Uh, yeah. It, it looks to me like there's still an operate. Could you imagine going to a one-room school like that? <laughs> <laughs> but that's the way it was, and that's the sort of history people learn when they come to the museum complex, right? Yes, yes. It takes kids, you know, into a what it would have been like, you know, at the turn of the century as opposed to how it is for them today. So it's a really great educational opportunity. Where do most of your student tours come from directly Monterey County or from neighboring even up in the Bay Area? For the most part, just Monterey County. But we have we see probably about 1,200 students in a three-month period. I bet that's a really interesting um, 
experience for students to visit this property and be able to compare what their life. We, I'm sure they're all, you know, holding smartphones and, you know, things <laughs> yes, <laughs> to, exactly. right. to make that comparison. So I, I love that Monterey County embraces and celebrates its agricultural history because for the longest time and including up to modern day, uh, you have been the nation's salad bowl. Yes. And so uh, what are the primary crops now in Monterey County? Well, you've got the grapes that are coming up, of course, and you've got a lot of romaine and, and peppers and things like that. Mm-hmm. And Greenfield's got its broccoli. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Do they still have the broccoli festival? You pass that sign, and it used to be like an animated broccoli that was saying, you know, Greenfield, home of the broccoli festival. No, they haven't had that for years, but I believe that they have a harvest festival or something like that now. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, because when you're driving along the 101 from King City all the way through Salinas, it is one crop after another. Mm-hmm. And then we had the artist on, John, uh, oh. you know those large murals mm. that you see? Yeah, the larger than life people. Yes. And the and stuff. Yes. 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 We had him on the show uh, a like a weeks. month or so ago, yeah, I want to say. Uh huh. And uh, great guy and really interesting. And that, too, ties into the celebration of Monterey County's agriculture history. Yeah. So um, the park itself does not just have the museum complex. What else can you do there at San Lorenzo Park? It's got a beautiful camping facility, full service, uh, full hookup, hookup RV camping. Overnight and, camping. Uh, the normal camping is all on grass, so it's not like you're out there you know, on the dirt. It's really, really nice. It's got a full bathroom with showers. Um, it's got you know, like a little miniature golf course. Is it's, there river access? There is river access. There's trails. There's hiking trails that take you down by the river and back in the back. Um, there's quite a bit. We've got a gazebo that people could get married in. I mean, there's a lot that's offered here at this park. It's a, it's a very large county park. Your website's an easy one. What is it? www.mcarlm.org. And that's Monterey County Agricultural and Rural Life Museum. There you go. Jessica Potts, thank you so much for joining us this morning and sharing your part of Monterey County history. Thank you for having me. All right. Next week, we are learning about hemp. Ooh, okay. Edible hemp. I put it in my oatmeal every single day, which might explain my behavior. (laughs) (laughs) I'm just teasing. (laughs) But it is incredibly helpful. And so uh, we'll be talking about that uh, next week here on the program. Until then, stay cool over the next several days, everyone. We really appreciate that you started your Sunday morning with us, Patty Pyburn, Randall White, Anthony Renaro, Ricardo Teodosio, and Cora Adama putting this show together for you today. Get out there, eat, drink, and explore, and enjoy your life.